The Conservative government unveiled a new tool today to try to help Canadians save for retirement. It's called a Target Benefit Pension Plan. It's being billed as a way to save because it splits the risk between employers and employees. Critics, though, say it's just another delaying tactic by a government that should be beefing up the Canada Pension Plan. Mike Dorlay reports. Canada's muddled pension plan debate just got a little more confusing. Today I have the privilege of announcing the latest of our initiatives uh, here in Toronto. It's called a targeted benefits plan, available only for federally regulated companies and crown corporations. In essence, a new retirement savings mechanism that would follow the market, making more in boom times less in bad. Critics immediately called it a smokescreen, designed to deflect attention from the Canada Pension Plan. Two-thirds of Canadians don't participate in any workplace pension plan. And what he's hoping is that companies will be attracted to this hybrid private model that will increase coverage for Canadians, hopefully. We are not looking at uh, the present time in enhancing CPP. We have said that now is not the time to talk about extra payroll taxes. The CPP debate has been simmering for years. Yearly premiums are split 50-50 between employers and employees, and benefits to retirees max out at 12500 annually. As for private plans, there are defined benefits where employers assume the risk, defined contributions where the risk is on employees, and if the Tories get their way, the target benefit where employees and employers share the risk. One thing is clear, Canadians see trouble on the horizon. Honestly, you know, there's a lot of people that they're going to have next to nothing and the government's just not going to have enough there for them. In December, the federal government rejected a joint Ontario PEI proposal for CPP expansion. And recently, Ontario intimated it was planning to go it alone with the CPP top-off. The argument against improving CPP is that Canadians are retiring later and have more savings in equity in their homes. Not true, says CARP's Susan Eng. You know, a lot of people are living for today. They're trying to get food on the table, pay off their mortgage and so on. So they can't think ahead to what it's going to be like in retirement. So if you ask them, are you going to put some money aside now? They're saying, you know, what money? Ottawa is looking for feedback on the proposal. The question is, are they improving retirement for future generations or making it more risky? Mike Crowley, Global News, Toronto.